Hello guys, Christian Miller here. Today I want to tell you guys the only thing you need to do if you want to hold your breath for over 5 minutes. Most adults who do not have a condition can do this. Also, if you're going to train uh, how to hold your breath, don't do it in water alone because you might black out underwater and then uh, it's not nice. Alright, so this is what you do. You do CO2 and O2 table training. And that's the only thing you need to do. You do not need to go to the gym and you do not need to go to the pool and you do not need to do any cardio. I'm not saying it won't help. It absolutely will help to do cardio so that your resting pulse is lower and it also helps to go to the pool to train your diving reflex that lowers your pulse. But you don't have to do that. When I started out I did one minute breath holds. That was the maximum I could do. Then after two months I was able to do five minutes without much problem. And the only thing I did, I was consistent and I did CO2 and O2 table trainings. No cardio. So the best way to do this is you go online and then you get an app to train. Because when you train this, you want to be thinking about nothing. You just lay there and rest. Don't put on YouTube, don't listen to anything. Just have an app that tells you when to breathe and when not to breathe. The app I use is called Freediving Apnea Trainer. It looks like this. They might also have it for Apple, I don't know, but you will find another app that tells you when to breathe and not to breathe. So only thing you do, two weeks of CO2 training, two weeks of O2 training. Then you take a week break where you only do uh, one training and then you start over. Two weeks of CO2 training, two weeks of O2 training. I'm not saying this is the ideal way to train, I'm just saying this is the way I trained and I was able to do five minutes within two months. If you want to learn more about this, you can check out other videos on my channel that will tell you how to do the oxygen training and also how to do the CO2 training. It will also tell you how to swim longer underwater and do those kind of stuff. My main thing is not to do freediving. I am an escape artist and an illusionist. I use the breath holds for stage performance. So I get locked up on stage with my head in a cube of water or in a water tank and then I hold my breath while I pick locks. So my trainings are focused on static breath holds. It is not focused on dynamic, which is swimming far underwater. Then you should check out Adam Freediver's videos. He has a lot about that. Hope you find this helpful and please subscribe to this channel if you like these kind of videos. Have a nice day!